Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. If you're new, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so you can get notified whenever a new video drops. All right, guys, so it's the end of the year. I figure we're gonna start off the new year with good spirit and high altitudes. And we're about to cross the Ben Franklin Bridge, which leads from Philadelphia, PA to Camden, New Jersey. I've walked this bridge about two times. So this will be my third time that I'm about to attempt today. One time back in August, 2013, is documented on my channel for an episode of Street Scrapers, Street Scrapers episode five. I walked this bridge with my buddy Walt who passed away. And then in 2018, I walked the bridge again. I walked from North Philadelphia to Camden, New Jersey, throughout Camden, New Jersey. And then I walked back to North Philadelphia. So this is gonna be round three. I just wanna solely focus on the bridge walk itself. We're gonna walk across it and then we're gonna walk back. There's two sides of the bridge you can walk. I don't know if both sides are gonna be open today. I'm hoping both sides are open today so I can take you guys down one side and then come back on the opposite side. If both sides are not open today, it's okay. What I'll do is we'll come back the same side, at least so that you guys can see both points of view. Now, I do want to make a disclaimer. It's very windy today. It's a cold, windy day. And since we're going to be walking a bridge, we're going to raise altitude, meaning we'll probably end up hearing more of that wind. If you guys hear a lot of wind, I apologize. I'm going to cross. Let me jog across this. Just jog to cross it. I know that was probably not the most ideal location to cross, but I figured let's get you guys here. As you can see, we have a jogger who just came from across the bridge. Many people utilize this bridge to walk, to jog, to cycle across on a bicycle, etc., etc. As we're walking across the bridge, I'll periodically talk about some facts and some information about the bridge. But for the most part, I want you guys to take in the ambience, take in the environment. I know many people lived in Philadelphia, PA their whole lives and have never once in their lifetime walked this bridge. This is a free experience that I think anyone should take advantage of, especially if you're a lifelong resident. You see, they got the KISS billboard up there, 82121. I guess KISS is going to Atlantic City. Man, they're advertising almost a year in advance. Wow. So this bridge, the construction began in 1922 and it ended in 1926. In 1922, it started on January 6th. Originally, this bridge was called the Delaware River Bridge. They renamed it in 1956. As you can see, no alcoholic beverages permitted on the walkway. They have a call box. On my right hand side, we see several gentlemen down there working. We have barbed wire on the left hand side. I guess so nobody climbs it. But then notice how the bar wire stops. Wonder if they had a problem with people climbing right here at the entrance. Cause it stops right here. Check out that sign. Be kind, radiate positive energy, ladies and gentlemen. Let you guys take a look down there. That's Old City, Old City, Philadelphia. 
That's a historic section of Philly. Restaurant and nightclub district. As always, if you guys have any memories, any stories, feel free to comment them below. I do not know it all, so I can definitely use your help if anybody wants to share knowledge. As you can hear, it's gonna be very noisy. So I do apologize. Check out these little condos right here. Each of those condos have their own, I guess, porch or deck area. Those decks look suspect in my opinion. <laughs> How many of y'all will be caught sitting out there? I don't know if I would. Those decks look suspect. Look at this building right here. It has fresh brick pointing. That looks good. They pressure washed the bricks the best they could. And then they brick pointed. Brick pointing basically consists of taking cement and filling up the lines, like the lines around the bricks. So you can see fresh gray lines. Some buildings need more brick pointing than others. Some people don't restore the building with brick pointing. They'll just pressure wash it and leave the existing brick pointing like that building across the street. It says Wilbur's, the Chocolate Works, the best apartments in this part of town or in the best parts of town. I'm sorry. www.historicallandmarks.com Check it out, Geico gets a free commercial. Do you like saving money? Visit geico.com. <laughs> all right guys, so we're starting to reach a higher altitude. Check it out for all you guys who are afraid of heights. Look at that. Yeah, we are definitely starting to reach a higher altitude. Now, I don't know if the other walkway on the opposite side is open. You see it over there? But we'll find out when we get to the end. This bridge was designed by the designer named Paul Philip Cret, or Cret. I don't know how you would pronunciate that. It sounds like he has like a, a French last name or from Paris or something. The address of this bridge would be 200 North 5th Street. That's the Google coordinates. The total length we're about to walk is about a mile and a half, pretty much. Um, to break that down, that's 9,573 feet. So if you walk both ways, it's a mile and a half to Jersey, and then it's a mile and a half back. So you walk about three miles. Let's take a look over here so you guys can see the view. See the view? You can see the new riverfront condos that they made over there. Those real tall condos. They were made probably less than a decade ago. They're high-end apartment slash condos. Come with all the amenities and all that stuff. Again, we get another peak down here. You guys can see what that looks like. Now, as I was mentioning earlier, guys, this is a free experience. You don't have to pay to walk this bridge. There's many things in life that provide an adrenaline rush that you have to pay for. This is one of those that you do not. So I recommend it. If you're afraid of heights, this might not be the best place for you to travel. <laughs> but good thing is, is that both sides have railings and all you have to do is stay in the middle of the railing and you'll be okay. Check out this view over there. You guys see that little skyline? There's also the other bridge. What's that bridge over there, y'all? Help me out with it. What is that, the Walt Whitman Bridge? 
That also takes you to Jersey. I think it takes you deeper South Jersey. Right here we have the 95. You see that highway that's down there? That's called the 95. You can go down south or up north, you know, past New York and all of that, which will be behind us, and down south, like Florida, Delaware, and all that stuff. Look at those houses right there. You see those houses? You see them right there? How they got roof decks and everything, and they're located right there next to the highway? That's prime real estate right there. You guys see how tall the bridge is? This bridge, the height is 380 feet as far as height. I don't know if that height will be from the water to the bridge or probably from right here, from the flat ground to the top of that up there. Speed limit, 45 miles an hour. Thank you, Delaware River Port Authority. Check out this little, what is this? A miniature, I don't know, some type of building that helps hold up the bridge. I'm sure this thing helps hold the bridge up. I'm sure you guys what it looks like. It's very windy, guys. Woo! Sorry, I can't even show you. <laughs> the camera was getting pushed around. I'll show you that one right there. You see it? There you go. Wow, it's windy as heck, guys. We have port security right here. It's extra windy. In memory of those who lost their lives in the building of this bridge. Wow, that's unfortunate. Imagine you went to work and then you don't come back because you were building a bridge. That's sad. Remember, I said that the building began in 1922 and it ended in 1926. So it took a couple years to, to build. And the cost of the bridge total, it was over $37 million. 37.1, a little over that, to make this bridge. It opened three days before the 150th anniversary of the signing of the Declaration of Independence. The opening date was July 1st, 1926. So right before July 4th. The toll cost, if you wanna pass this bridge with a car, is $5 for most cars. Anything over a certain amount of axles will vary from $3.75 to $7.50. I'm gonna tilt the camera up just to give you guys that experience. Yep, beautiful. Fantastic view. You see all those wires? Wow, that's a lot of metal wires that hold up this bridge, right? If you guys wanna know like the specifics as far as the wiring goes, this bridge was made with over 70,000 tons of steel. 70,000 tons of steel. And you see those rivets? There was 1.5 million rivets used in order to make the bridge. And the wires? Over 250,000 miles of steel wire was used. That's food for thought. See these rivets? Okay, I'm gonna point down at the rivets. You see those rivets that hold the bridge together? Yeah. 1.5 million, wow, that's an incredible number. Woo, we're up high, so I'm feeling the wind is pushing me, and it's pushing the camera too. Make mental note to self next time. Try to do this on a less windier day so you guys can enjoy the full experience. I just woke up today and I felt like I wanna walk the bridge. So let's walk the bridge. Let's show the YouTubers 
we're walking the Philadelphia Bridge is like, remember I've walked this already before, it's on my channel. You can see some really epic cinematic shots that I've taken on my channel on Street Scrapers episode five with me walking over this bridge. I actually used the high-end camera too, with lenses and everything. Check out that skyline, guys. That skyline is beautiful, look at that. Wow. Right there are the piers. See all the piers right there next to the water? Beautiful. You gotta see the water, right? It's a whole lot of water. Woo! The wind is so strong that it's absolutely affecting the smoothness of this gimbal. That's why some shots probably looked at jerky. They look like they had a little jerk to it because the wind is really putting up a fight. I'm sure you guys can hear it in the microphone. Woo. Let me stop right here so that you guys can take a look at this right here. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Let's tilt up. Wow. That's remarkable. Like that is Woo! gives you an adrenaline rush, boy. Wow. Imagine there's people that get paid to paint these bridges. Not only make them, but they get paid to maintain them. So they got to climb up to the top, change the light bulbs, paint them, work on them, etc., etc. <laughs> I gotta hold this with two hands. Yo, look at that up there, y'all. Yo, that just gave me the butterfly. Stomach guts. Look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. Whoa, the camera's shaking, you see it? Whoa, let me stay still. <laughs> y'all see that little bridge walkway right there? Yo, just looking at that is making my stomach quiver. Somebody gotta walk up there. Whoa, no way, Jose. I'm sorry, I quit. I'll give you guys my forget a two week notice look at two minutes in advance i will not be walking up that thing right there <laughs> somebody out there loves heights and that's why there's a job out there for everybody whoa whoa the wind the wind guys whoa oh no oh no mario i feel like i'm in the middle of like a wind gust storm i might as well have went handheld oh oh Yo, the wind is incredible. They got me holding this camera extra tight. Ends up pushing it off my hand, imagine that. The wind blows it out of my hand, I drop it, and then boom, it falls right, in, right there into the water. No, that'd be horrible. Look at, look at, look at, look at, you see right there? Whoa. Whoa, guys. This is pretty cool, look at that. I'm gonna just point it over there so you guys can see something else. Yeah, this is one life to live, guys. You guys got one life. How you wanna live it? Let's start off the new year right. I want you to spend 2021 doing things you never possibly imagined you doing, you know? Take that next, you know, step. I know this year is going to bring many blessings to the channel Tune 215. We're gonna be exploring many towns, many cities, and I'm looking forward to one day exploring the world. Like Pinky in the Brain says, what do you think we're gonna do tomorrow night? The same thing we do every night. Trying to take over the world. <laughs> Say no. I'm kidding. I kill you. Y'all remember the puppet, right? The little puppet, Jeff Dunham, the puppet that'd be like, I kill you. I'm Ahmed. <laughs> wow, look at that little port over there. See all the boats? Let me slow down so y'all can see the boats. Wow, the wind is drawling right now. For those of you who don't know what drawling means, I think that's Philly slang, because <laughs> we've been using it forever here. Drawling means like, that wind is really interfering with my device. <laughs> yeah, that wind is in the way. There you go. Drawling can be equivalent to, that wind is in the way. All right, they brought the barbed wire back here. 
Oh, oh, we got the train over there. There's a train that runs right there. We just missed it. But it's cool. It runs on that side, and I think there's one that runs right under us. I think it goes both ways. We got cameras right here. You see this? They, they, they probably see me like walking by. Like, who's this gentleman walking by with a handheld device? He looks like he's up to no good. <laughs> All right, guys, I think we've done walked more than 50% of the bridge. So we might be on like New Jersey waters right about now. I mean, I know they share the same water, but y'all get what I'm saying, right? We're about to be in Camden. Let me show you guys another look at that little bridge contraption that they got going on right there. That bridge looks sketchy as ever. It looks so sketchy. It looks like one of those jungle gym bridges that you jump up and down and it like shakes as you jump. No, you're not catching me walking across that thing. Now let's make note, I have never walked this bridge when it was this windy. I've always walked it when it was no wind out. It was like zero wind gusts. Today, it is extra windy. It's probably like anywhere from 15 to 20 mile an hour wind gusts. I'm gonna tilt up a little bit so that you guys can experience the feel of walking on the bridge. To be honest, I don't know if the other side's closed. The other side might be closed for service. It looks like it might be closed for service. Wow. It's mind blowing, guys. I'm gonna tilt it forward and I'll tilt it back up when we get closer. We got Acme truck driving by, delivering the local goods. No, they took out Rutgers Field. Y'all can tell that I haven't walked this in a while because I got Rutgers on my last two walks because I walked this for a vlog and I did it for episode five of Street Scrapers, one of my bike life series. And I shot footage of that Rutgers Field that used to be there. I don't know if it was like a local college field or something, but they eliminated. Did they? Yeah, I think they did. No, because I don't see it no more. I mean, I see another field all over there, but I remember there being like a big red R. Wow. Over here we have the American water building on my right. I think the aquarium is over there too. If you guys are into aquariums, yeah. There's an aquarium right there. Let's take a little peek at this before we walk by it. Look at the size. It's larger than life. You guys see it? It's really larger than life. It makes you Oh man. Uh, check out that little dog transformer sticker thing. You guys see that? Cool street art. Look at that pier over there. In case you guys want to like sit at the pier next to the water. Y'all see it? There's a pier. You got the the Hilton Garden Inn. Oh, so you got a whole hotel that you can stay at and then you can, you know, explore. That's pretty cool. Let's take another look at this side. Woo! Oh, the train is under us, y'all. Ah, oh, everything is shaking! Ah! Oh. So, no, no, but everything was shaking. <laughs> yeah. This is cool. 
I'll be completely honest with you too, after the walk, like my body started to warm up some. So in the beginning, it was a little chilly. Like I ain't gonna fraud, I ain't gonna front, but I'm kind of sweating. Oh snap, there's rust out here. There's rust out here on the bridge. I mean, obviously there's gonna be rust because there's metal and liquid plus metal causes what? Rust, but it's interesting. I guess that's why every couple years they gotta come out and paint it. You know what I mean? Wow, let's take a moment of silence to pay our respect to the gentleman who built this bridge in the early 1900s, both alive and the ones who passed away. Amen. Yeah, man, because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be able to experience this right now. And they risked their lives so that we could have transportation from state to state. So let's take that moment in, you know? Those men had cojones of steel. <laughs> Ask somebody in the uh, comment section, what does cojones mean? <laughs> yeah, but that's crazy. Look at that over there. They're over there doing some type of work, I guess. Whatever they're laying a the foundation for. I swear that's where the field was at. I know I'm not crazy. There used to be a field there. Unless we're going to run into it after this little miniature tower over here. But we'll find out once we pass this little tower. Look, there's even a little sitting area if you want to come over here and sit down. Let's walk up these little steps here. Whoa. Wow. All right, let's come right here, cautiously. Let's tilt down so you guys can take a look at all the scenario down here. You know, this is gonna be history because in five, 10 years, whatever whatever they build there, it's gonna fill that spot and then y'all can look back at my video and be like, oh, y'all remember when two walked by here and I wasn't there? Yeah, there you go. Documenting history. Y'all see that the tower on this side says Camden? Y'all see it right there? I don't know if y'all can see it. The tower says Camden, right in the middle of it. I didn't even pay attention to if the one in Philadelphia side said Philly. Or not Philly, but if it said Philadelphia. Woo, it's windy. Oh, this wind is no joke. Oh, no. So normally without the stops, like if you don't stop every five seconds to like talk or to like capture footage, I'm sure you could probably walk this bridge in like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Oh, the wind, whoa, that was some strong wind. Y'all saw that jerk? Y'all saw that camera jerk? That's cause it's super windy out here. Yeah, I'm like the most dramatic person walking across this bridge, right? <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. Out of all times, me walking this bridge, the third time will be the windiest, huh? Go figure. All right, so I wasn't completely crazy. There is still an R down here, because I do recall there being an R, remember? Right there, boom. That R. I don't even know if it means Rutgers. I straight up made that up. I don't know if it means something else, but it has an R and then it says Camden. But I definitely did make that up. I have no idea where I got records from. So, if you come over here to Camden, to be completely honest with you, this side looks a lot like Philly. When I say it looks a lot like Philly, it has row homes, two-story, three-story row homes. It has the same tiny blocks like how we have. We have tiny blocks, we have medium blocks, we have large blocks. Then we got some dudes over here. 
that are driving their their work vehicle with a snow shovel i'm gonna walk by them so they don't plow me yeah they gave me the right away thank you sir check this out look at this new lofts being made it's a new loft offices loftoffices.com join us and remake history wow you're you're making history too <laughs> Yeah, shout out to all the Camden fam. Shout out to Wreck, Reckless Life. Shout out to the whole ROD crew. Yeah, shout out to Camden people in general. I don't know. A lot of people don't like coming to Camden or they say Camden has a bad reputation. I don't know. I be feeling like I'm at home when I'm in Camden. Even though I'm born and raised in Philly, like I really feel like comfortable in Camden. I shot probably one, two, three, I think four music videos in Camden, I think two music videos in Trenton. Oh, it is Rutgers. Yeah, boy, y'all see that sun right there? So I wasn't completely crazy. It, it was Rutgers, but I just, I don't know, for some reason I felt like Rutgers was from somewhere else. All right, guys. We got the projects coming up. I actually shot a music video in the hallway of that projects before. <laughs> yeah, boy. It felt like a like a real Brooklyn style um, in environment. Like you know how like in the um, boroughs of Brooklyn or Bronx or whatever Manhattan and all that they have, or even Queens, they have like the projects. Yeah, when I was shooting a music video in the hallway, that's the whole vibe that I was getting. Yeah, the hallways did smell like urine too, so make note. Hallways smell like urine. I can't speak for all projects, but I know that one when I was in it, yeah. Some of the hallways smell bad. Yeah, but I walked through all this, y'all. I walked like probably like two, three miles that way. I came around. I walked as far as I could walk this way which was straight to the riverfront. There's like a park over there. I actually shot a music video right there next to that little riverfront back there. Yeah. Pretty cool environment. Whoa, the wind, the wind, the wind. Oh no. The wind is in the way, guys. I'm disappointed at how much camera jerking I'm, I'm receiving. I wonder if the other side's open. If the other side's not open, there's no point of me going all the way to the end to walk around to find out that it's closed. Because if it's closed, so then I might as well just bust the U-turn now, trying to see ahead of time like is it open i have not oh snap that wind is strong man come on mother nature you like messing up my footage here <laughs> yeah i don't see a single soul walking on that side so yeah i think it's closed y'all oh, no 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 is it is it closed no it looks i don't know if it's closed if it's open no it looks like it might be open it might be open, guys. I don't know. I'll be completely honest with y'all, but I'm going to take y'all on the little exploration to see if it is open. We're going to learn if it's open together, mate. You know where the real plot twist would be at? Tune starts by walking Ben Franklin Bridge. That tune eventually walks the San Francisco Bridge, or a, a bridge in Dubai, or a bridge in Malaysia. Wow, that would blow my mind. 
But I believe you guys are gonna help me with that. I think you guys are gonna help me big time. If you guys wanna simply make the freest donation you could ever make in your life, just watch an ad. Literally watching ads is like donating to the channel. So don't feel bad, you know, if you're not able to donate 50 cents, 75 cents, a dollar, a quarter, whatever. You could just watch my ad. Low key, it's like you donated. You could just thumbs up this video. Low key, it's like you donated. You could comment in the comment section. Low key, that's like you donating. All the donations help. I greatly appreciate it. Wow, we got a lot of rust over here. Y'all see that? Wow, that's a lot of rust. I mean, it's not the worst rust in the world. Because what's this, like, solid steel? It's hard for rust to eat through that. It's going to take years and years and years of, of you know, abuse for it to eat through it. But, yeah. All right, guys. So, I think where we're at is not going to be as windy. So, I think I'm all clear from the wind now. But we are officially in Camden, New Jersey, guys. I think I'm a Camden, New Jerseyan now. Yeah. That is cool. And you probably got people who were born and raised in Camden that never bothered to walk the opposite side, you know? Never bothered to walk it either. This is something that's like so free, it's like a library. It's a free resource, so why not utilize it, right? All right, so they got the Camden police station over here. I don't even know if this is the Camden police station. Maybe it might be like the Port Authority police. But you got a whole squadron of cop cars over there. We're on Pearl Street. On my right hand side, we have Pearl Street. <laughs> I'm about to get in my GPS bag. In approximately 30 feet, we will be exiting the Ben Franklin Bridge. You are now arriving Camden, New Jersey. No, <laughs> arriving in Camden, New Jersey. There you go. This is when you throw on that, um, what's that James Brown song? I feel good. Da -na 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 -na. I knew that I would. Yeah. I'm telling you, talking about dopamine, the, the rush you get from crossing over that bridge is incredible. Especially on a windy day. Look at, they got a whole sign of things that you're not supposed to be doing on the bridge. Look at, no drones, no none of that. I actually flew a drone by the bridge. Look at, caution, gusty winds. Wow, they should have had that on the other side. Look, and then they got the Paco high speed line. Check it out for all you guys who, you know, want to use the train system. So technically, I could keep walking around and keep going around camden and all that you know but that's not what this video is about i'm gonna see if i can take you guys back around let's see wow check this out y'all we're under the bridge yo we got all these oh snap shout out to my homie near there's my homie near right here hcp hancock and cambria posse that's my guy that's my guy right there his brother is Ban, B-A-N. That's the one that got shot on Masher and Cambria. I, I told y'all that story a couple times, but he survived it. But his OG that he got shot with, oh, it's closed. I'm super duper Saudi. Anyway, at least you guys see that I wasn't lying, that I was making an attempt to try to take you guys, you see? But it's closed. So it's okay, guys. So we're gonna bust a U-turn. We're gonna do reverse, reverse. Look at this. Now we look at that. We got red over there. All right, so we got one heck of a walk back. At least you guys get to see the view of the Philly side. You know, y'all already seen the Jersey side. There wasn't much skyline on the Jersey side other than like the projects. On the Philly side, you guys are gonna see all the Philly buildings, which is cool. Let's see if I can take this walk straight back. See how long it's gonna take me. If I push it to the limit. No, I'm not gonna push it that hard, but. Wow, it's so quiet.
Yeah, we'll go closer while I'm up top. But like I said, it's so windy. I don't want the wind to push this thing right out my hand. And timber! And the water it goes like Titanic. We gotta search for it like Rose's necklace. Yo, Titanic was the jam. Don't, don't be frauding, y'all. Don't be acting like y'all ain't watched that whole three and a half, four hour movie. <laughs> yeah, Titanic was, was sharp. Wow, look at that depth of field. You see that depth of field? The length of the bridge, the side of it, how you guys can see it. It's awesome. part about this y'all you could screenshot this video and make a picture of the philadelphia skyline hey 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 now don't be screenshotting and putting your stamp on it talking about y'all did it say like, no nah. <laughs> at least share this link a shout out would be cool Oh, we see the train, son. Y'all see that, son? Yeah, son. They're like, two. you're not from New York. Shut up, son. <laughs> nah, look at that. That y'all, that y'all coming. Hold on, hold on, let me stay still. Nah, I'm supposed to be moving so I can keep the, you know, the footage rolling. Hold on, but look at it, look at it, look at it. Whoa, it's starting to get windy. Oh, snap, let me stay still. Y'all seen that? The train was right there, that's cool. to my boy Walt Scott Dallas man that guy was down for whatever he ain't ever think twice it didn't matter the time of day I call him the season it didn't matter anything if I asked him yo bro we out he was out he was he was with it 20 plus years of friendship 20 plus years of friendship y'all I lost him in 2018 
my man jogging over with the smallest shirts of a lifetime. <laughs> he had on some whole tiny shorts, the Paul Pierce shorts from the 1970s, right? And I don't even watch sports. I don't even watch basketball. But I do know Paul Pierce used to wear some... Oh, there he goes again with the Paul Pierce shorts! Paul Pierce for the win! He, he heard me. He like, you talking about my Paul Pierce shorts, bro? <laughs> Nah, I'm just messing around. At least they're green. Green is probably my favorite color. Next to red. Green is my birthstone, so. <sighs> it's a shame that we couldn't walk on that side because I wanted to show y'all that side. But don't get it twisted. That vlog that I did walking from North Philly to Camden and back, that was the side that I used. So I already got footage of that side. I got footage of both sides. Look at the clouds, yo. The clouds look incredible. They look like, like giant fluffy marshmallow pillows. Sorry guys, it's not that I got quiet. I'm just allowing you guys to take in the environment. Sometimes I know my voice could be a nuisance. I don't want to like distract your experience. So I'm gonna do my best to not talk as much on the way back. But I really do see something there in the water. And it ain't a boat. Oh, that wind is brutal. Oh man, that wind is making me cold. Remember I said I was sweating? Now I'm walking back and the wind is blowing and my sweat is starting to get cold. Yo, my guy is riding his bike on the lightest gear ever. His legs are moving 100 pedals a minute, but he's not going anywhere. I guess because we're going uphill, so he's trying to make it easier on his knees. Yeah, guys, when y'all see Philadelphia and y'all say, man, Philadelphia is horrible, based off of just like five, six blocks of Kensington, <laughs> Kensington is one out of 52 plus neighborhoods, roughly around 60 different neighborhoods. South Philly is over there. You got Center City right there on the opposite half of Center City. You got West Philly. Then down here, you got North Philly, which is huge. And then if you take it deeper, you got Northeast Philly. And this camera doesn't do justice. We are a very huge city. Even though you're, you know, if you're a lifelong resident, it may seem small, like I myself, you know. I say, yeah, Philly, Philly is kind of small, like if you really do travel everywhere. But believe it or not, there's many people who don't know other neighborhoods but their own. There's people that's been living in Philadelphia for 48, 50 plus years. And you put up a, or I put up a video of a Philadelphia hood and they think that I'm making these names up. My friends, all you have to do is go to Google. Remember, we got technology at the tip of our fingerprint. All you gotta do is go to Google and type Philadelphia neighborhoods. And a long list comes up. You can go to Wikipedia, you can 
you'll see all the different Philadelphia hoods. Yeah, it's really hard to judge a whole city based off of one avenue. And it's not even the whole avenue. It's like six, maybe seven blocks of that avenue. And let's make note, a lot of those people who come hang out under the avenue, who may be under the influence, I don't have an exact percentage, but I would say maybe 75 to 80% of them are not even from Philly. They come from the East Coast. Delaware, Jersey, New York, Virginia, Baltimore, et cetera, et cetera. They come here, they come to the Drug Avenue, and once they get on, they never go back home. They end up staying out here and sleeping on the streets because it's easier access to their substance. So they won't get dope sick or drug sick or go through withdrawal on the travel back. Probably a good 25% of them are from the neighborhood, but even if they are, a good percentage of them do go back to their homes. Very few of them hang out on the street. So a lot of those that you see out there under the avenue, they're not even Philadelphia residents. Check out that tugboat, guys. Yeah, boy. Tugboat life. Yo, so here's, a, here's an interesting fact. At the top of this port, this is, I believe, the Delaware port. I think that's what it's called. On my right-hand side, at the very top, I'm not going to point at it, but I would say like two, three miles up, there was a shipyard with tons and tons of shipping containers. I think about a year, year and a half ago, they did a huge drug bust. I don't know the exact quantity of drugs that they caught, but I know it was somewhere in like the 100,000 tons, I don't know, a million tons, I don't know, some type of substance. I don't know if it was coke, if it was, I thought it was marijuana. But it was some heavy substance and they found it right there at that pier, at that port. And who knows how many years it was operating business. But right here on the port, baby. Talking about rush hour. And I, oh, almost blew the camera forward. No way, Jose. Let me let me stay over here. <laughs> Yo. No lie, guys. It almost, oh, oh, hold on. Time to turn the camera straight. The aerodynamic nature of this camera is not allowing the device to operate freely. Oh, damn. This is one heck of a walk. you guys a shot right here look at that shot that definitely feel look nice right oh that's a nice shot you y'all see like how the like how the gates like go in an angle oh no no wait wait turn it this way right there that's a nice shot oh y'all see the little car that was cool got the little car in the shot look look at all these stickers guys so we're about halfway in the bridge and i think it took me so far like 15 minutes to walk mind you i haven't even really been pushing it to the limit and i did stop two or three times when i said i wasn't supposed to slow down i stopped so that probably has something to do with it
So I guess that car gets basically paid to drive back and forth all day. What a job, right? What a job. Spend your career on a bridge up above water. Yo, was this the bridge that I was on? One time I was driving by a bridge and a car was blown up and it was on fire on the bridge. Was it this one or was it the Walt Whitman? It was like maybe two and a half, maybe three years ago. I don't remember which one, but I do know I was on one of these bridges driving by, coming back from Jersey. And there was a freaking car. I don't know if it was like a like a work van, a work truck, something. It was on fire, completely engulfed in flames right here on the bridge. Tune. We do not want to think about you, buddy. Hey, you can't blame me for like trying. Woo. Look at them boats. I'll show y'all them boats, little boat yard. That's when you know you balling when you got a boat next to the pier. Just yeah, just come visit my boat. I live on 233 Boat Ave. <laughs> Snap, the wind is blowing. We got two younger females going for the walk. You go, girls. That's what I'm talking about. They out here. I'm wrong, but yeah. <laughs> Let me show you guys that side since we didn't get to really look at that side much. Look at that side. That's the side where Kensington is at. Kensington is over there. If you guys want to know what's located on that side of the city, y'all got Kensington, Hartranf, West Kensington, Old Kensington, Northern Liberties, Fishtown. Um, Harrogate, um, let me see, uh, Uptown, you got um, Nice Town, Tioga, Germantown, um, the whole Northeast, like everything is located over there. There's tons, of, there's more, there's like two, three dozen, maybe four dozen, nah, like two more dozen, 24 or so more hoods that I probably didn't even name that come from that section of, of the city. Not including everything that's in between on the far side, on the opposite end of the city, and then everything that's in the south side. When I just did that, that mob um, crime family tour that I just took y'all through, Tenth and Schneider and all that, that was done on this side of the city. That's South Philly. And then if you go in an angle, like deep in an angle, like straight, you'll hit Southwest. So yeah, man. It's a lot of exploring to be done in Philly. Let me stop right here so y'all can see this little avenue. This is Columbus Boulevard right here. Look at it. Oh, let me approach with caution. I'm going to just stay right here because the wind is blowing and I don't want it to blow the camera right on my hand. Y'all see it, right? Yeah, it's nice. And I wasn't supposed to stop, right? I ended up stopping again. I'm sorry.
So he came from the other side. I don't think I saw him running this way when I was coming. So maybe he's from Jersey, jogging over here and then he's gonna jog back. Look at his little teeny cute police car. So tiny and cute, right? What was that, like a Fiat, a Scion? I didn't pay attention. And I ain't gonna look back at the officer so he think that I'm plotting something. <laughs> Yeah, all these regular pedestrians walking by and they would think that I would be the one. Oh yeah, it does say Pennsylvania over there. So one side it says Pennsylvania and behind me it says Philadelphia. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, because the one on Jersey side, one side said New Jersey, the other side said Camp. Ooh, this wind, boy. This wind is treacherous. What a way to start the new year, guys. Remember, I want you guys to act on your thoughts. I mean, at least all the positive thoughts. Don't be going and doing nothing crazy. And be like, no, 2215 said act on my thoughts. Visit his YouTube channel. Give his video a thumbs up. I mean, you can tell them that, that last part, but don't be telling them that I said act on your thoughts and y'all be doing some, some crazy stuff. But if you got goals, dreams, aspirations, things you want to work on, let this year be the year to start. Be like me. Don't start tomorrow. Start yesterday. Remove one bad habit and replace it with one good habit. You ain't gonna change overnight. You ain't gonna make the largest progress overnight. It might take several years, but that's what life's about. Life is about the journey. Life is not about the destination. Yeah, we enjoy the destination, but what happens in between from, start, from starting A, point A, to, to, to point B? To the end of the destination. It's that journey. Don't go on autopilot and forget about the journey. Appreciate the journey. Appreciate all the ups and downs, trials and tribulations, things that he or she may face in life. Anything that doesn't kill you makes you stronger. When you reach rock bottom, there's only one way to go and that's up. Don't give up, guys. Let 2021 be a year of greatness, great prosperity, great health, wealth, out here we did it guys we did it we successfully did it we probably got like less than a block left and i think it took me roughly like 23 minutes so far i think i've been walking this bridge for 23 minutes but like i said i made two or three boo-boos where i stopped and i wasn't supposed to but you're able to walk the bridge in like a good probably 18 minutes like if you just focus on walking maybe if you jog it you could probably jog it in like 10 for all those people that were jogging it you know what i mean but nah I wasn't gonna jog it. Yo, check out those little roof decks. Yo, that's like the newest big thing here. Oh, they got a grill over there and everything. Y'all see that? Yo, what's up? <laughs> hook it up. Hook me up with some grilled food, son. Oh, look at that up there. There's like some type of flying thing right there in the sky. Let me see if y'all can see it. Y'all see it? Y'all see it right there flying? That ain't no rocket. I don't know what it is, but it got two trails. Oh, I hear it. I heard that there was about to be an accident right on the bridge. Oh, that would have been beautiful. I mean, not beautiful, but at least for YouTube, it would have been interesting. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's like one of the newest um, trends that's been happening within, I can say, probably the last 15 to 20 years. I've noticed a lot of the new houses they make or they rehabilitate all have roof decks, roof access. You know why? To enjoy this beautiful skyline. pretty cool but to be honest with you i don't really see many people out there using them i don't know maybe i mean i'm not around everyone's house at all times to see if anybody actually utilizes their roof deck but i know i see many roof decks go unused if i had a roof deck what i'd be chilling on my roof all the time imagine i used to chill on my roof when i was a kid with, without even having a roof deck we used to do some crazy hanging over the roof stuff to try to get up there Wow, the gentleman on my left hand side had a film camera. He had a real film photography camera. He didn't have any film photography camera. He didn't just have a 35 millimeter film photography camera. My guy had like a 1930s, 1940s Kodak or 1950s Kodak photography box style camera in his hand. And he was an older gentleman. So I won't be surprised if he's a collector and or connoisseur and or a photographer from back in the day. And that's probably like one of his original cameras. Some people prefer to shoot things on film because the way it looks, because of the quality. 
you can't replicate that in, in digital, you know? Wow, that's awesome. I caught that man in history. Wow, that's crazy. Like 50 years when he's no longer on this earth. I mean, I'm hoping he lives to be 200. All right, thank you Optimus Prime for making all this noise going down the block. But when that guy, you know, is no longer here, hopefully one day his grandkids or his, his daughter or son could be watching this video and say, oh, look at that. That was Grandpa walking by. Look at Grandpa was with his camera. Like he used to love taking photos. Memories last a lifetime, guys. We got an Agua tag up right there. Agua, Philly legend. We got a Waxer. We got a Manic. Yeah. The boy is crazy. Hanging off the side of a building to, <laughs> to make your mark. But that's how the graph life is. They be going the extra mile to make their mark. Chilly. Look at that's called the view. It's an old city condo. Look at look at look at look at yo y'all can't see but I can see like the kitchen. I can see the chairs there, their sofa. Wow. Luckily nobody was like <laughs> doing anything they should have. They would have ended up on YouTube on the World Wide Web. aren't the limit because we're gonna go past the stars baby hit that thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe turn on your notification bell because if you don't turn on your notification bell you will not be notified when another video drops before you guys comment a location that i should visit next on this video feel free to check out my philadelphia hoods playlist with over 200 plus hood tours covering all sections of the city Feel free to look through that playlist for you guys. Comment in my comment section. Visit here, visit there, visit here. I probably did that neighborhood already. I'm at the point of my YouTube career where I'm trying to expand and try to, you know, go to different spots. So stay tuned. I got some pretty cool towns that I'm going to be visiting in the next couple weeks. And I'm looking forward to having you guys join me on this journey. Have a good day. This is Tune, tuning out. <laughs>